computer desktop, double-click the simple ABI icon. When the program opens, select File, New, New ABI Q Report. The report will open, and you can enter patient information, risk factors, symptoms, ICD codes, etc. With the patient in the supine position, wrap 10 centimeter cuffs at each ankle. Start by wrapping the bladder portion first. Place the cuff under the ankle and wrap it around the ankle, holding it in place with one hand while wrapping it with the other. Try to wrap it straight. You can rotate it around to get the hose out of the way of the artery. When wrapping the cuffs on the legs, the patient may try to hold their leg up to help, but ask them not to because when they relax their leg, the cuff may loosen. Attach the hose to the right cuff as shown. To obtain a PVR waveform, click on the right PVR button in the middle of the screen. Tighten the thumb valve and pump the bulb to roughly 80 millimeters of mercury and then slowly deflate to roughly 65 millimeters and stop. The center section of the target pressure gauge will turn green. If red, too low or too high. When a constant green, click on the Get Waveform button. Note, PVRs require patient cooperation. Limb motion affects the waveform. Patients should be instructed not to move or talk during this test. The waveform will start to appear after approximately 10 seconds. If you're not satisfied with the waveform, leave the cuff inflated in the green and click on the Get Waveform button again to overwrite the previous waveform. Release the air in the cuff and move the hose to the left leg cuff and repeat the above steps. On your computer keyboard, press the tab key to highlight the left leg PVR section or simply click the left leg PVR button. Repeat the waveform sequence for the other leg. Under each waveform will be the calculated ABIQ. ABIQ guidelines. ABIQ greater than 1.00 indicates normal. ABIQ between 0.90 and 0.99 indicates borderline risk of PAD. ABIQ less than 0.9 indicates increased risk of PAD. When finished, save the report if desired, as described in your user manual.